underway, leaving the Bay of Bellina, dodging crab pots, and we've got our new power boater friends with us, buddy boaters. They're uh, about six miles that way. They're quite a bit faster than us, but it's supposed to get pretty windy tonight. And I think they're pretty worried about it. So they should get out in front of us if they run into any problems. We can pick them up. Hopefully everything goes swell for them. <laughs> Here's that, this kind of come up to us. They can't full speed right now, that's I just thought. I thought maybe they were gonna hit us or something. This one a couple double A batteries. They're stoked. Give, give the panga something back after they saved our lives yesterday. <laughs> we were underway. Full set of sails up. Winds were supposed to be pretty steady at 15 knots. We had about 150 miles to go. We were thinking it should take us around 30, 35 hours. Being there the next day. Destination, Magdalena Bay. It's about three quarters of the way down the Baja coast. We heard it's supposed to be very beautiful, so we're excited. It's the coastline. It's nice to see a change. It goes from lush forests to deserts, back to forests, deserts again. Just behind these mountains is our anchorage. Looks like there's some nice foliage on those mountains. Once we got into our anchorage, I wrangled the outboard into the cockpit. I tied it up so it wouldn't fall over. I checked all the usual culprits, spark plug, fuel lines, oil. It seemed like the oil was a little over full, it was right to the top. I'm guessing some water got in there somehow. So I gave her an oil change. I managed not to make too big of a mess. Only a couple drips on the ground. I gave her just an all around tune up, I guess you could say, with what I had on board. Oh, well, we just jumped to the dinghy. I got her, got her running again. Thank God. But we're just looking for a place to land it. Yeah, yeah, there's a big wave coming through. Woo! Yeah, I was looking for a place to land the dinghy. Uh, it's, it's not right here. I mean, it could be. It'd be fun. It's about two foot breaking waves. Uh, there is an estuary, but it's ebbing pretty hard right now, and the water's only eight inches deep, and it's coming out fast. So. Be able to make it up that one. If we go back up closer on the far side, we find a place to land the dinghy. Apparently, it's in Sand Dollar Beach. I'm gonna go see that.
managed to get the dinghy through the surf without too much of an ordeal. Just thought we were going to tip at one point. But I had everything under control. We just pulled up on the beach here. There's sand dollars everywhere. They're so cool. And there's on. shuffle, but I don't want to step on one. You just slide your feet on the bottom, you kick them in the side and they swim away. <laughs> you step on them, they sting you. Fuck it. It really hurts. Oh, that's on the bottom. <laughs> keep up with our panga tour guide so we just decided to just take it slow and enjoy the view Grande Grande Crocodilla Crocodillo It's neutral right now? Oh my god. Look at those waves we have to go over. <laughs> <laughs>
Anchorage we want to leave. It's beautiful here. But the winds are going to start blowing. And we need those winds to get to Cabo. Uh, today we're just going to go around to Mag Bay. It's about six hours. we got to get some, some more supplies. There's a store over there. Apparently you can get diesel. And it's supposed to be beautiful as well. So let's go check her out. Check it out. We're just coming through the entrance into Magdalena Bay. We're pushing against current. Navionics is 1.5. I'm no expert, but it looks like three to me. How many knots do you say this current is, Jess? Four. Seems to be ripping. We're still making some headway over. Still moving forward. Sail up, it's not really doing anything. Motor's just ripping. Burning all the diesel. We just finished uh, provisioning the boat, diesel, water, fuel, alcohol, um, in Porto San Carlos. It was pretty great, I mean, I thought I was going to have to do like 10 trips carrying water, carrying diesel for like 4 kilometers each way, but we ended up getting a ride with the water guy right to the, right to the dinghy. And then the diesel guy gave us a ride as well. What's happening today? We don't know. <laughs> Maybe. We're just carrying diesel. This guy told us to get in. So that made things life pretty easy. As well, when we got the water, we still had all our groceries. So we got the water and groceries in one ride. Best experience yet. Looks like the town, I mean, it's probably suffered a hurricane in the past or something. Things are pretty broken down and not, not much going on. Fairly nice town though. But we are under sail. Just got the main up. Got the current ripping with us. Just uh, to get out of here, we're going to go to Manor Cove. Uh, so it's a big bay, Bay of Magdalena. Huge. Um, bigger than San Francisco Bay but it's all shoal areas, like really shallow, and there's the channel, it goes in a Z shape. So we're gonna have to go downwind with the current, up, upwind against the current, and then finish off long stretch downwind with the current. When we came up here, we were fighting both wind and current. It took four hours, and we're supposed to take two. But this should be nice. And I'm hopefully gonna get the rod in and get a mahi-mahi in here. We're gonna go all the way basically to those mountains over there. Where we were anchored yesterday, there's a sandbar along here that separates this bay from that bay formed by those mountains. I was hoping I could just take the dinghy from that anchorage, walk across the sand with the dinghy, and boat over here to get everything in the dinghy, but there's breaking waves on the far side of that. That would have never happened. The sand was really deep, so I wouldn't have been able to use the wheels on the dinghy. Oh, yeah, it's nice. We're towing it. I haven't, to I haven't, I haven't towed the dinghy forever because of the swell and whatnot in the ocean, but it's nice in this bay. Hey, well, thanks for watching again. If you made it to the end, it's a good sign that you liked it. So go ahead and click the like button. Join us next week. We're going to head down to Cabo okay. San Lucas. Ha, 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 ha.